I have the balls to say things that nobody else has the balls to say. Who's really pulling the strings? Is it you? Or is it your bean-headed wife? You don't wear the pants in the family. But you do wear her panties, don't you? You disrespected me as a man. Now, deal with me as a man. So at Night of Champions, no disqualification, punk. Anything goes. It's not if, but when I beat you, you resign as COO at WWE. Done. So much on the line here for Triple H. If he loses to CM Punk tonight, he will be forced out as COO of the WWE. Well, you know, this started out as business, but CM Punk made it personal. And right now, Triple H is hoping to end it. This one's not going to resemble a match. This is two men who are going to tear each other apart here tonight. And we're going back between the ropes. Oh, ow! Triple H knows how to polish off an opponent. And he gets back in the ring. Oh, going to the top. High risk. And no! When CM Punk first came to WWE, he claims Triple H saw him as a pompous, undersized, internet darling that couldn't hang with the lights of the game. Well, Triple H doesn't deny it, but he does say CM Punk has a warped internet. Good Lord, huge impact into that barrier. into the chair. Oh, man. I don't think there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve victory here tonight. Oh, my gosh. Turned inside out. 
and he's heading back inside the ring. Oh, big shot to the midsection. Wait, kick. What's he doing now? Oh, no. DDT. DDT on the steel chair. Oh, man, what a move. Kevin Ash almost single-handedly cost CM Punk his opportunity at the WWE title when he distracted Punk in a number one contender's match on Raw. And that's after Nash played a major role in Alberto Del Rio capturing the WWE title from Punk at SummerSlam. For some reason, Nash really has it out for CM Punk. Keep in mind, King, Kevin Ash was originally slated to take on CM Punk here tonight. Yeah, but that all changed when Punk verbally assaulted the COO of this company and his family. And knowing oh, it's like being a witness to a felony. Oh, it's no disqualification. Anything goes here tonight. You know, Triple H may have the advantage in this type of match. This is his element. No doubt, King, the game has participated in some of the WWE's most brutal matches ever. CM Punk might live to regret that comment about Stephanie wearing the pants in the family. Yeah, and I don't even want to repeat what CM Punk said the game wears under his pants. Great move. Ironically, CM Punk's first ever WWE pay-per-view came in November 2006 when he teamed with Shawn Michaels, the Hardys, and his opponent tonight, Triple H, at Survivor Series. I remember that night. CM Punk claims to have grabbed the imaginary brass ring, but then he says his career went nowhere afterwards. He blames Triple H and WWE's, get this, weird bodybuilder fetish over what a main event superstar needs to look like. Whenever CM Punk accuses WWE of being the land of the Giants, Triple H likes to bring up the likes of Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Mick Foley, and Rey Mysterio. You know, King, it's hard to argue with those names. Yeah, you're right. They hardly fit the bodybuilder mode, that's for sure. And he hits the neck breaker. And he gets back in. Mama, hey now! Yeah, look at CM Punk pouring on the aggression. And it looks like we could be heading back into the ring. You know, you have to wonder what was going through Triple H's mind when he had to deliver the news to his father-in-law, Mr. McMahon, that he was being... relieved of his duties. In Triple H's defense, he was simply following orders from the board of directors. According to them, Mr. McMahon was making extremely questionable decisions of late and had to be replaced. Well, and now that Triple H is running the day-to-day -day operations, I'm sure this year's Thanksgiving dinner at the McMahon house will be more than just a little uncomfortable. I'm still in shock that Triple H had to relieve Mr. McMahon of his duties. This is the same man that created WrestleMania a pioneer in the pay-per-view business and the architect of a global empire. Triple H has been out of the ring action for a while and nothing can prepare you for a match like this tonight. Adrenaline is what will get the game through this battle. This is going to be a fight. Triple H has been in a ton of matches, but I don't know if he's ever been in one exactly like this. CM Punk is so determined. Watch it! Oh, stop at the last second. One thing's for certain. CM Punk is going to leave this arena here tonight bruised and battered. But will he also leave with a victory? Well, that's the question, Cole. What a maneuver. Well, CM Punk has said numerous times that he wants change. But to get that change, he's going to have to go through what looks to be a very determined Triple H. Speaking of change, Triple H said he would give it to Puck, but not before kicking his butt first. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. Although I think I need somebody to tell me. Oh, through the barricade! A spear! Oh my God! Completely destroyed the barricade! That's a chair again! And again, he gets struck with that object. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Oh my gosh! Sit right into that steel post! Now back to the ring. Set crashing to the outside. Oh! Whoa! He's measuring. That's it. He's out.
The game's got him. Punk's in trouble. On that table, not where you want to be. I don't think this is a good idea. God, oh my God, the announce table, his body, Butler in a million pieces. And he gets tossed back in the ring. He's got a steel chair. And he's heading back in. Hard shot to the gut. And skull first into the chair. Oh, that should do it. Oh, and did you hear the impact? Oh, that's devastating. Oh, God. Oh, my God. His skull may be crushed. Bam, another kick. I don't know what's going to happen here. A oh, serious impact as his skull is driven into that chair. Leave with the victory. Well, that's the question, Cole. But it doesn't look good for him right now. CM Punk may have insulted the wrong person at the wrong time. Triple H would love to pedigree him right through the floor. You know, seeing Triple H and Kevin Nash's friendship disintegrate the way it has in recent weeks has been truly shocking. I mean, they've been the best of friends since the mid-1990s, practically inseparable. The only thing that separated them was when Kevin Nash left for WCW in 1996. But even then, the two remained very close friends. Yeah, and speaking of Nash's time with WCW, one of my favorite memories from the Monday Night War was when Triple H and DX invaded Monday Nitro. You know... Oh, well, here it comes! This is gonna be it! Pedigree! Oh, man! This is over! And Punk stays alive! What? How did see a Punk kick out of the game's pedigree? This is amazing! What a match! Triple H has gotta be in shock! Hey, hey, hey! Wait a minute! What is he doing here? Kevin Nash! Wait, don't get him! Kevin Nash stepping over the top rope and in the ring! Oh, he hammers CM Punk! And now he goes out! Red. Triple H King, what is going on here? What in the world? I mean, this, I don't even know what to say! I don't get it! Kevin Nash! Oh, laying a beat down on the game! What's he thinking? We're best buddies. And that punk. See a punk now coming to get some on Nash. This whole thing is out of control. Kevin Nash now has see a punk in a precarious situation. Oh, look out! Oh, see a punk. Oh, what do you make of this? I just don't get it. I don't get it either. Nash has come in, assaulted Punk, assaulted Triple H. And now it looks like he's leaving. Wait a minute. No, oh, oh, and Nash is again blasting the game. Watch out. Coming over here. Wait a minute. It's our monitor. What the hell is going on here? What is Kevin Nash doing, Cole? Oh, oh, and with a sledgehammer! The sledgehammer! The game just hammers Kevin Nash! Nash had that coming! All right, see you, Punk, back in the ring. Game, it's time for you to get back in and get it on! Well, CM Punk has said numerous times that he wants change. But to get that change, he's going to have to go through what looks to be a very determined Triple H. Speaking of change, Triple H said he would give it to Punk, but not before kicking his butt first. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. Although I think I need somebody to tell me what a skinny fat ass is. Oh, what a swinging neckbreaker. CM Punk has capitalized on opportunities and taken back momentum. Triple H with a beautiful reversal. Oh no! There he goes again! What a shot! Say what you
you will, about CM Punk. He doesn't mind taking a beating, and he can dish it out as well as he can take it. And CM Punk going for the chair. One shot with that, and this one could be over immediately. It's all legal here. Anything goes, including hitting the seal of the company with cold, hard steel. Looks like we're going back inside. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. And what a reversal from CM Punk. Oh, wait, nice reversal. And he gets back in. That'll leave a mark. Look at this, Cole. The Anaconda Vice is locked in, and this could be it. Oh, man. CM Punk looks like he's loving this. And let me tell you something. When you're in a fight like this, you actually have to like it. CM Punk definitely walks his own line. He moves to the beat of his own drum. And right now, he's giving it to the COO of the WWE. I'm willing to bet there are plenty of other people in that locker room wishing they were Punk right now. And you know, CM Punk claims he's the best in the world. Well, if he can beat the game here tonight, I may have to agree. And the knuckles connect. And a shot to the solar plexus. And now it's Triple H with momentum. Oh! Oh! Look at this! Could it be? Oh, man! Yeah, that'll take the wind out of your sails. Look at this! Oh, what a pedigree! That's it! This could do it. Two, three. Triple H wins. The game is shut down CM Punk. Oh, and most importantly, Triple H has retained his position as COO of the WWE. Anyway you look at it, with all the chaos, and with everything that went down in this no disqualification match, this is perhaps one of the greatest matches ever. I don't care who you're rooting for, this match was fantastic.